Yeah, and first things first, Senator Inhofe is doing well, just mild symptoms. That's according to Luke Holland, who until yesterday was Inhofe's longtime chief of staff. Now Holland is a candidate for U.S. Senate with an endorsement from his former boss. I believe that America is the greatest nation on earth. I believe that Oklahoma is the greatest state in the nation. But we're under assault. Luke Holland is not a name you are likely familiar with, but in a one on one is interview, a, Senator Jim Inhofe's now really former chief of staff told me you that won't things. hold him back. You know, I actually think it's an advantage, and it's because people, today's politics. Yeah, and, I mean, frankly, like, I have great ideas that this nation needs to pursue. In just four months, Republican voters will choose their nominee to replace Senator Inhofe. Inhofe and Holland agree the best man for the job is the one already managing the office. The more that he decided to uh, say that it was time for him to, to move on, the more I was like, well, I think I should do this. And that's when he said, well, if you do it, I'll endorse you. Holland calls himself a Jim Inhofe Republican, saying he cannot think of a single issue where he disagrees with Oklahoma's senior senator. I've been working hand in glove with Jim, and I am really focused on advocating for the things that Oklahoma cares about. I want to do both advance the ideals that we hold true, our freedoms and our Christian values, while also delivering results for Oklahoma, just like Jim did. Holland said he agreed with Senator Inhofe's decision to vote to certify the election of Joe Biden, saying Inhofe was following the Constitution, but he did not want to give a definitive answer to another related question. Do you think President Biden was elected in a fraudulent election? You know, you guys in the media are always trying to do We're, we're the worst, that, aren't we? Everything that you can to do but I do, to, to, to but, fracture America. No, no, I mean, no, no, that's, no, no. That's part of the problem. Like, we have so many things going in the wrong direction in this country, and everyone wants, just to, wants to focus on the past. That's the only thing that the Democrats have is what's in the past, and I'm fighting for the future. And I asked uh, Mr. Holland there a couple of times if he thought that President Biden was elected in a fraudulent election. He, he, he didn't really give me a clear answer. He said that just a lot of people are concerned about election security. But as for his candidacy, Holland says that this this campaign, this election, it's going to be a sprint and he is going to be everywhere. So that if Oklahoma does not know who Luke Holland is right now in four months when the first votes are, votes are cast, they certainly will then. We're live here outside the Oklahoma History Center tonight, Evan Onstock, KOCO 5.